In this second video, we'll explore micro-parameters. Those parameters that allow us to personalize in a detailed way the sound of the physical model. Entering the editing mode and pressing F3, we access the micro-parameters list. Let's try to modify a few to give you an example. The hammer's mass influences the energy that's transmitted to the string so that it varies the length of its impact. Thanks to a heavier hammer, we can generate multiple reflections for a richer and more colorful sound. Negative values lead to a less intense and less subtle sound. The hit point is the percussion point that cannot be modified in a real piano because it's set by the manufacturer. Its virtual variation instead simulates the movement of the string from the hammer. Positive values towards the small bridge and negative values in the opposite direction. The sound effect we get is an essential tone change in the instrument due to the variations of its components. The string resonance regulates the entity of the physical phenomenon called sympathetic resonance, which means added vibrations to the clear strings that have a specific frequency relationship with the note that's played. The damper resonance parameter has got the same function as the previous one, but only if the pedal is pressed. It's also possible to modify the length of the strings. In a grand piano, they vary from a length of a few centimetres to about two metres. One of the most evident consequences is the length of the sound. In pianos, higher overtones are absorbed with different speeds and in different ways because of the features of the piano. Changing this parameter means modifying the entry of this absorption. It's easy to imagine how the combination of all these different elements allow us to reach an infinite number of sounds. We'll show you some that are very different from each other, from the honky-tonk and the electric grand to a piano for contemporary music, all made according to the physical model of the acoustic piano.